Bird scooters have become just one of the many amenities that the University of Missouri students have become accustomed to. This paid service allows users to rent electric scooters that they find on the street. However, the service is not without its drawbacks. Freshman Lucy Dozier at the beginning of the semester experienced an accident on a bird. Um, I don't think I'll ever get on a bird again after what happened just because um, when it did happen it was a very traumatic experience and that wasn't even as bad as it could have been and I really wouldn't want to get on a bird again and have something like that happen again and um, have it be a lot worse than it was last time. Um, I think a lot of things about birds make them safety hazards on campus. Um, just when you have that kind of transportation that people are able to drive on their own, um, it creates a lot of leeway for them to be used incorrectly and for the proper rules and regulations to not be followed and to not be um, adhered to by such a large um, campus of students who are independent for their first time, uh, maybe aren't trying to follow the rules as much as they would um, usually. So I just think it's the combination of having that type of transportation um, on this type of space and this type of campus. Other students feel that bird scooters contribute to both campus and student life. Sam Coppell, an MU freshman, rides birds frequently and feels that they help his transportation to and from classes. To me, what's appealing about riding a bird? Um, well, I get tired during the day and my legs fall asleep and I don't really want to walk back to, uh, to College Ave, so I'll just bird over because it's probably two, two bucks from like my part of this class and it's actually kind of fun. In a recent press release, Bird stated that they prioritize with cities on road safety and safety for our communities. From the radio and TV journalism fig, I am Ava Valencia.